Oh, I'm struggling. I gotta bring out this first dive video, but I don't know what to put in it. I mean, there's loads I can put in it, but if I want to spread it out every week, I think it's been an all round just slow week for me. Hmm. Well, the diet's gonna start tomorrow. It's Sunday now, Monday tomorrow. Obviously, because you know how the days of the week work. And from tomorrow, I'm gonna be eating the full on good foods. And I'm gonna be training solid. Sometimes when you just feel bleh, maybe it's just a good idea to have a shower. You don't wanna be dealing with this. Look at, look at this, look at this, look at, look at this. About the beard, I'm, if you can call it a beard, it's more like a, more like a long stubble. I just thought I'd just leave it for as long as I can tolerate and maybe see if I can get a beard. I don't know, I don't even know if I want one. I just thought I'd try. Because to be honest, I, I've never been that good at growing hair. I've always had about as much hair growing talent as like a young teenager. And I've got these empty patches by here. So if I have a beard, I've got a feeling it's just going to come out of the sides, come out of the bottom, and then a big long moustache. Uh, that's probably not a good look. I'm pretty sure it's not going to go, oh, and I'm going to end up looking like, like the guy from Game of Thrones, you know. The so, I'm going to shower first. I forgot I've got a coffee here. I'll take it in the shower. It doesn't hurt. Got a bruise on me. Don't know how I got it. I hate that. A bruise like that, you would have thought you'd remember. I'm not naked again. So, I'm halfway there. Today's a jogger's day. It's not a jeans day. Don't know how good an idea it was taking my coffee in the shower. Didn't really know how much of it was my coffee and how much of it was the shower water, but at least my coffee lasted longer. It's pretty noisy living next to the main road. We got hospitals just down the road as well, so it's super noisy when the ambulances come past. Over here for some reason, they don't just play sirens, they also speak over the tannoy. I don't know what that was, that wasn't. They also speak over the tannoy, which seems pointless to me. Just do one or the other. What? You don't need the siren if you're just going to shout at people saying move out of the way or an ambulance. And you don't need to shout at people if you've got a siren. Everyone knows what an ambulance siren sounds like. We've got one going past like constantly all day. So, anyway. Another angle shot, test, am I in properly? Talking about protein, talking about water, talking about getting all sexy up in this shit. I've got to include the shelf and the pipe and things like that. It's so noisy here. You've got to include all this stuff because the apartment is so small. I'd be talking to you like this. Oh, this is the one. This shot is no good. So I'm going to go out and I'm going to get a tripod. Because at the moment this chair, cardboard combo is just not working out. Do you think I need like an intro or like a greeting? You know like loads of YouTubers, especially fitness ones, this is what they do, this is what they do. What's up YouTube? It's your boy, Philip Muscle. Nah, that's not me. Hello YouTube. So I'm going to give you a quick breakdown of what I've chosen to do and how I've sort of come to plan to do that. So basically I want to work out 
my workout, what I'm going to be doing each day of the week, and I want to work out my diet. We'll start. So your diet, you want to go online, find a calorie calculator, find out what your calories are going to be, and then what they're going to be for you to lose weight, which is generally around 15, maybe sometimes 20% less than what your calorie maintenance would be. Your macros, your macros, your macronutrients are your proteins, your carbs, and your fats. Your fats, I'm going to say keep it around 40 grams, then you make sure you're getting a good amount of fats in and not too many. And carbs, you need to find out what works best for you with them. For me, I have about 300 to 350 grams a day when I'm trying to lose weight, and that's because I use carbs really well, so I can do that. But if maybe you put on weight really easily and things like that, you might not want to be having such high carbs. And maybe you're going to increase your fats then and make your calories up through that. Your proteins. In order to find your proteins out, all you got to do is take your body weight in pounds and times that by 1 to 1 1.5. And whatever you get is your grams of protein per day. I tend to go the higher end of the scale, the 1.5. A lot of people might say that maybe that's a lot too much because um, your body can only maybe use the lower end of the scale amount of protein at one time. And I know people who have definitely used the lower end and they've still managed to put on good muscle. Saying that, 1.5 times my body weight is what I chose to do when I first started training. And that got me from looking like this to going into a show and looking like this. So that's why I generally tend to stick towards that. But I don't get afraid if I have to cut it down for whatever reason. Another method you could choose to do is just take your body weight in kg and times that by two. And again, that'll give you whatever protein goes in there. When you are working out your calories and your macros and things like that, don't get stressed or try not to. I say this, but I do it every time. It does get a bit stressful when you're wondering Am I doing it right? Am I getting the right numbers? Oh, should it be higher? Should it be lower? I do that every time and I always end up having to take a step back and just go, this is what I'm going to do. If it ain't perfect, then I'll just readjust it next week. And you just go like that because you're not going to know exactly what's right until you start trying to use that diet. On top of your diet, you have to be drinking water. You have to. But honestly, it doesn't matter whether you're trying to bulk up or cut down. You need to drink a lot of water. It's like your body is made up of like 75 or something percent water. So, so literally 75% of you is water. So how is the majority of your bodily functions going to work properly if you're not getting adequate amount of water to fuel all the aspects of your body that are made of water? You're just not going to be working 100%. And your muscles, when they get pumped and stuff, you're gonna be, they're going to be filling with water because that's going to draw the proteins in. So you need to be getting lots of water. And if you want to know how much water to drink a day, I generally try to go for seven liters, possibly eight if I can. And I'll be a bit disappointed if I got five. I know it seems like a lot, but if you just get a two liter bottle, you're always drinking from that. Use a cup if you have to, if it's easy for you to drink from the cup. And just be drinking constantly. Don't wait till you're thirsty. If you're doing something and you see a water bottle, just glug, loads of water. And just do that constantly. And in the gym, make sure you're getting maybe at least two liters probably during your workout. Drink between every set of every exercise. And it'll, it'll be easy, I promise. Don't worry if you don't drink all that water, but you will die. No, of course you won't. But you will definitely lose weight quicker. You will definitely build muscle faster if you drink your water. So something else I'm also considering doing on this diet is... Although I'm going to be sticking to clean and lean and green foods, so basically my proteins are going to be chicken breast, fish, maybe beef sometimes, but only if I can get really lean cuts. And to be honest, that's quite hard in Japan. My carbohydrates are going to be all whole wheat mostly, apart from directly after my workout and my shake when I'm going to have some really fast digesting sugars. My carbs are going to be mostly brown rice, but you could have whole wheat pasta, whole wheat noodles, uh, sweet potato is fine as well. I'm going to be having porridge oats. All those foods are good and that's what you want to be eating for your carbs. And then you just want to throw some greens on top. So you want some green beans or something or asparagus. Or, but I'm not going to be doing broccoli. Because I f***ing hate broccoli.
I don't think we need to see that again. All right, let's see that again. I ate way too much of it in prep for my show, and now I'm off it for life. And then your fats are gonna be things like, you can use oils, like I'm using coconut oil, flaxseed oil. You can also have nuts, avocados, things like that. But don't forget, nuts have also got protein, so you're gonna have to calculate that into your meal. And avocado has also got a lot of carbs, so you gotta count that in as well. So, I'm eating the same meal all day, every day. And I don't mind it too much, it's pretty plain, but my determination for my results are way more important than, the, than what it tastes like or how much I'm enjoying my dinner. But saying that, if it does get too much, I have been playing around over the last couple of weeks and months, you might have seen in my other videos, with IF, which is intermittent fasting. You still need to hit your calories and macros, but you just do it in a smaller space, which allows you to have foods which are a bit more calorie dense, so tastier stuff. Like I was eating pizzas and mashed potato with sausage and gravy and all that sort of stuff. And it tasted great. So if things do get too tough, I'm just going to maybe do a day like that. And also intermittent fasting comes in handy for if you've got a meal and you've got to go out and meet friends or go to a party or something. If you can, try and avoid eating. But if it, you have to eat and, or you want to, because obviously you want to have fun as well, just use the intermittent fasting technique and then you don't have to feel so bad and you may not even go over your calories or at least by not much. Okay, so the workout week. I prefer five days a week of weights and then two rest days. But one of those rest days may sometimes include cardio or if you want to, you could do something a bit less strenuous overall, like abs or something like that. Sometimes I do the cardio on that sixth day, but generally I'll have two days off. I want to separate these two days so that I can have some good workouts in the middle, a nice rest, and then I can work out again and rest. If you have to have them both on the weekend or something like that, that's fine, you can make that work for you. But if I was doing all these heavy workouts and then five days in a row, by the end of the week, I'm going to be exhausted and I'm not going to get the most out of those other sessions later on in the week. So here's what I do. Wednesday and Sunday, days off. I tend to stick chest and back on days next to each other because they don't really affect the other. So if I was, say, doing legs the day before I did back, then when I'm trying to do back and I'm trying to row and bend over and your legs are knackered or sore from the day before, you're not going to be able to do that properly and get the most out of it. So let's just start it like everyone else does with chest on a Monday. So if I follow that with back, those two, they're not going to interfere with each other. So you can get the most out of both those workouts. Then you've battered your upper body and you get a day off. When we come back, we're going to do legs. Because you've done loads of upper body now, you want to get that healing because most of the other things you're going to have to do, like your shoulders and your arms, and your abs, it's all upper body work. So you wanna get a nice break between this upper body bit. So you're gonna smash out your legs, and again, nothing holding it back. Next important thing would be delts, your shoulders. And then for me, the least important, but still important for a whole rounded physique, the arms. And then abs and calves, I tend to just throw in on other workouts. So for instance, it'll be chest and abs, and then maybe I'll do delts and abs here. And then you can do calves on leg day, and then you can throw carbs in again, maybe there, or here, or you can swap these two around. It's up to you how you want to play it. And arms day, because they're such small muscle groups, it's not the best for fat burning. If It might feel good and you'll not get a good pump on, but it won't be the best for fat burning because you want to be hitting more muscle groups. The more muscle groups you work, or the bigger the muscle group, the more strenuous it is on your body, and so the more fat you're going to end up burning. So on the arms day, I'll tend to try and do maybe abs, or some cardio, and other stuff like that, maybe a circuit or something. Maybe a circuit of just a couple of chest, back and legs things if you want. Just try and burn an extra bit of fat. That's generally what I tend to do and that's it for my workout week. It's up to you what you want to do but hope that gives you a bit of an idea. Next, get the before pictures done. Plain background so you can see all the curves and shapes and stuff. Guys, let the hair grow. When you shave it you can see the definition more and stuff so later on it'll look even better. Women, Get your bikini on, get your bra on, whatever. So you want to see all this. This is where you'll lose it first. This is the last bit to go. Maybe even be pale. I mean, I'm pale all the time anyway. I'd love to use the sun meds, but it's too bad for you. Don't do it. So you want one from the front, one from the side, back. Oh, 
I don't know what to do for that one. And then the other side, trying to talk, maybe you want to lift your arm up because you want to be able to see if you've lost weight here. Your arm's going to be hiding that. You're not going to know. Arms overhead. You're going to look bad. Don't worry. That's the point of these before pictures. And that's it. That's it. So this is what I'm currently looking like. Not so bad, considering I've been eating bad food for the last couple of weeks since I've been in Japan and things like that. I'm weighing in at 76 kg, which is 167 and a half pounds. I haven't had a fat reading done, but based on past fat readings, I think I'm around the 11% uh, body fat mark. So that is episode one of my summer diet series done. I'm about to start my eight week diet. So every week on a Monday at 8 a.m. UK time, I'm gonna bring you an update of what I've been doing over the last week. And I'll also talk to you about things that might help you out if you wanna do your own. Gum is so hard now. <laughs> Went into the fridge. And if you've got any questions or queries or anything you're wondering about the diet or working out, just drop it in the comments below and I'll get back to you there. Maybe I'll make a video about it as well, you know? So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe if you haven't already. And that's it until episode 2 next week. Out on a nipple shot.